Hey everyone, welcome back to Survival Addiction. Today we will be going over six common EDC items um, that you might want to consider adding to your EDC lineup. Um, or if you're new to the EDC community, these are six items that might be good ideas for you. I mean, maybe you haven't thought of these items. Um, but before we get started, I just want to let you guys know that I am doing a contest. Um, when I hit 300 subscribers, I will be putting a secret word in my video, and then I will be picking um, one subscriber to receive a $100 prize. Um, this does apply only to the U.S., unfortunately. So if you are one of my subscribers that does not live in the U.S., I apologize, but you won't be able to win this prize. Um, additionally, before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, and then you will need to hit that notification bell if you are wanting to receive um, more info or mo more videos, um, video notifications of videos that I've come out with. Um, but yeah, anyways, thanks so much, guys. Okay, so the first item that is a common EDC item is, of course, the knife. Um, anyone who's ever seen an EDC photo can tell you that there's usually a knife involved. Um, so this, by the way, I'm showing you guys my brass EDC carry that I do carry. Um, so this is my knife. It's a Boker Panchenko Plus and it's S35VN still. So a knife is useful for many reasons. Um, cutting boxes and packaging is mostly what I use mine for, but you could also use it to cut up food. Um, and then there's various survival uses, of course. So if for whatever reason I was on a hike and I got lost, I have a knife. And that knife I can use to forage, I can use to cut bark off of trees, I can use to make a rope, um, process an animal. There's various uses for a knife. Um, I feel like it's one of the most common items that you'll see in an ADC carry, but there are those few people that do not carry knives. I choose to because there are uses for them that... Um, I find valuable. So the second item is a flashlight and these are pretty useful just in case there's a power outage. Um, if you need to fix a car you you can shine the light on an area that you're trying to fix so you can get to it easier or you can see what you're needing to fix. Um, if you're a plumber, I'm sure you could use it, you know, to see the pipes. If you're an electrician, I, I, I mean, there's so many uses for a flashlight. I feel like it's probably the second most common item that you will see in an everyday carry. Okay, so the third item is a pen. There's so many uses for pens. Pens can be used to write notes, write in a journal, um, sign documents, draw. There's so many uses for a pen. Um, I do not have it pictured right now because I usually don't really have a multi-tool on me. I don't really have a whole lot of uses for one. Um, but these are the most common ones that I use. But multi-tools, there's so many uses for them. Uh, it depends on the type of multi-tool you have. It depends on like if you have like a Leatherman with like pliers. If you have a Victorinox, those have toothpicks and tweezers, um, bottle openers, can openers, scissors. Like I said, there's so many uses for them. I honestly probably should 
trade out one of my items for a multi-tool because multi-tools are so useful and there's so many different uses for them. Um, the likelihood that I will actually have to use one is pretty high. Um, the fifth item is a pry bar. And to be honest, I don't really use mine a whole lot. I've only ever used it once. Um, but it is common, people do carry it, and I'm sure they have more uses than I do. But they can be used to pry open doors, you can use them as a screwdriver, um, self-defense. Mine is a brass pry bar. I, I mean, if I hit someone in the head with that, that's not going to feel super good for them. They're probably going to be hurting pretty bad. Um, you can use it for a scraper for your car. If there's gum on you, your shoe, you can use it to scrape gum off of your shoe. Um, and then, of course, just to look nice. Mine, of course, is mostly just to look nice. Not only do I have items to carry, but I also like taking nice pictures with those items. Um, it's actually one of my favorite types of photography. I think it's a lot of fun. And then the last item that is super common, number six, is of course a handkerchief. So this handkerchief is from Ace of Hanks. Um, and I do like this brand a lot. And there's so many uses for a handkerchief. Um, if you're a sweaty person, like if you're in a humid environment or you work out a lot, you can use it to wipe sweat off your face and your hands. Um, if you have allergies or you get colds a lot, you can use it to wipe your nose. Um, if you're a messy eater, you can use it to wipe up your mouth. If you have glasses, you can use it to wipe off your glasses when they're oily or dirty. Um, and then, of course, we've all had this happen where you go into a bathroom, you wash your hands, the blow dryer is broken, there's no paper towels, your hands are soaking wet, you don't want to touch everything. You use it to dry your hands and then open the door so you don't have to touch that disgusting doorknob. Um, so I know this is a short video, everyone, but hopefully you guys found this video helpful, especially if you're new to the EDC community. Maybe these items will help you get started. Um, obviously, you don't have to use all of these items. You want to use items that are going to help you the most. But these are common items that you'll see a lot of people carrying, or at least taking pictures and claiming that they carry. Um, but yeah, anyways, thanks so much for joining me at, at Survival Addiction, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much, guys.